Hello, we will then know to Alinas. It's a beautiful evening here on the weekend of the 4th of July. And uh, we have a beautiful and calm and warm uh, Boston Common. And today I wanted to share with you a concept that I'm going to be talking about more and more over the summer, which is the idea of bonded endodontics. Now, we're all familiar with the concept of bonding in restorative dentistry and how it came about and replaced the concept of um, mechanically retained restorations such as amalgams. Now, the bonding concept in restorative dentistry really changed the way we think about restorative dentistry and how condensation of amalgam basically over time um, went away and now we're dealing with the placement and bonding of composite restorations. And I think it's basically time now for endodontics to also go through the same revolution that occurred in um, restorative dentistry with the evolution of mechanically condensed restoration into placement of bonded restorations such as composites. And that leads me to the recent revolution of bioceramic uh, cements and endodontics that do chemically bond to dentin surfaces due to um, through a mechanism of uh, hydroxyapatite bonding and cross-linking between the hydroxyapatite precipitate uh, precipitate of the cements and the uh, hydroxyapatite component of dentin itself. So this bonding uh, that occurs now between the cement and the canal walls allow us to really think differently about the way we do endodontics. Up until now, we've really had to emphasize the idea of condensation and minimizing the sealer interface through vertical or lateral condensation of gutta percha. But now that we have bonding between the cement and the canal wall, a whole new era in endodontics has actually begun and this is the era of bonded endodontics. So I just wanted to share with you one article that was published uh, from University of uh, 